Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and this is episode 31 of our Portugal achievement run here in Europa Universalis 4. Uh, I've had some audio problems on my PC. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, I checked all my drivers. I took out my sound card, put it all back together. Everything seems fine, so I don't know what's happened. Uh, but the audio has locked up twice now. Uh, I hope it doesn't happen again. Otherwise, I'm really confused. Anywho, you missed a few minutes because we had problems and I lost the recording. It was about three minutes, I think. I pieced out Powhatan. We're at 19% in the war, so I just white pieced him out. And uh, we sold Bari to Naples. We sold Nice to Provence. And uh, we're going to sell Sardinia to Provence, but we can't do that for a while. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is put our foot down over here, prevent any revolts uh, while he is coring Nice. It'll take him a year or two to core it, and then we can go ahead and uh, sell it to him. In the meantime, I want to start annexing our vassal, Barry. So if I could, please have a diplomat. Bingo, bango. I also want to get a new vassal in Normandy, if I could have a diplomat. Excellent. And I wanted to annex another vassal. I, I thought I was going to be able to annex... No, you can't have access. I thought I was going to be able to annex Naples, but then I <laughs> our relations are in the shitter. I didn't expect it to be so bad, but there it is. So, who else could we possibly annex? Auvergne, I think we can start in two years. So it's a little premature to think about him. Uh, there's no one, really. I, uh, yeah, let's take a look at who we have. We have Auvergne. Brittany, Burgundy, Normandy, Provence, Berry, and Naples. Berry is annexing. Naples I need to annex. So I need relations to go up with Naples. Let's work on him for a while. Uh, you're still going down there. That's probably fine. Unless I just want to walk. Uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll pick him up. We'll go somewhere. And let's take our uh, attack fleet back over to Andalusia. I kind of forgot exactly what was going on because of the two crashes. And it wasn't like the game crashed or anything, it was the audio crashed. Like there was something wrong, I don't, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm not going to bother you guys with the details. It's just very odd. Okay, our explorer is ready to go from Sunda, so let's throw him out. Let's go have fun, see if you can find us some goodies. And then, you know, check out whatever's around. Um, do that, do that. Last time he made it home with 18% health. Let's see if we can make it 5% uh, health. I, I, I don't really care if he makes it back, to be honest. But uh, give it give it your best shot, okay? And uh, our troops are going to head on home from Aragon. And I, I, I can't annex anyone else. I just can't. There's no one else that can be annexed. Auvergne's two years away, but I need to declare on France right now. Yeah, so why don't we just go ahead and declare on France, and we can start annexing um, maybe Provence or Brittany pretty soon-ish. We'll see. <laughs> okay, Normandy's a new vassal. Hooray, hooray. We're up to eight out of six again, but that's okay. We have uh, a statesman. No, we don't. There we go. We have a statesman again. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! Okay, get on the boat. And take his ass up to... Ah, you know what we need? We need troops over here. We won't need troops in Europe, but we will need troops uh, to annex all of these idiots. All of these guys are going to form a colonial nation. I believe it will be colonial Mexico. And as soon as that's done, uh, we want to annex all these guys. All we need is this core, and this core, and then I think it's ready to go. 
So let's go ahead and attack Francy Pants over here. Francy Pants. Da -da -da. Our truce is up, so let's attack. Burgundy's kind of a medium to long term vassal, so we'll keep him around. Champagne is still happy with us. He won't vassalize, but he's happy with us. Uh, Lorraine has apparently lost his interest in being a vassal, but we might want to spend some time getting relations up anyway. Oh, that's what I need to do with these guys. Uh, keep you guys around. Let's uh, keep them busy. Let's all dock up here in Sardinia. Basically, France is allied to Genoa, and I was thinking we could annex Genoa and sell it to our vassal Provence, because he's got a claim on it, so why the fuck not? Now, Provence has claims on a lot of provinces, and I would love to sell him all of those things. So let's go ahead and declare war on Francy Pants. I don't really... I think we'll go for Navarra. But if, if I can remember to, I would like to take these provinces. I just have to remember to do it. And that's, that's probably my biggest flaw, is I don't remember things. I just... I don't remember them. I think we still have a truce with the Platinum, but even if we don't, it's not a big deal. Denmark wants to join, so... Come on in, Denmark. The water's warm. Denmark is a good ally so far. I like that. I'm going to let my vassals do the work so I don't have to. Um, also, Provence has a core here, so if he would siege it, then I wouldn't have to spend any Diplo points in the peace deal for that province. Establish a base in India. Oh. You know, I, I wouldn't mind that at all. Oh, what's the difference? Establish a base or get a presence. What's the difference? Nothing. It's exactly the same. What's the difference in the bonus? Admin points or prestige? Admin points or prestige? I guess I'll go for admin points? I don't know. It's the same mission. Well, whatever. That gives us claims all over India, right? Yep. Beautiful claims. I think we'll go get Ceylon. Not sure if I want any of this other crap. Maybe. But let's at least go get Ceylon because it's a, a nice province to get. Good base tax, important center trade, spices, all that shit. Uh, how many troops do you have, Ceylon? Talk to me. Ceylon. He has 3,000 soldiers. And I've only got uh, two boats. I wonder if we can take him on with just 2,000 soldiers. We'll take uh, just two soldiers. I bet that's all we need. What tech are you, Ceylon? Tech 11, and he has no allies. Yeah, I'll just use two soldiers, and I'll use a general. Where is my general? I think he's on the boat. No, he's not on the boat. Where's my general? Oh, he's here in the New World. There he is. My 4-4. Four -four. I will definitely use that man in Ceylon. All right. Enjoy your general. Yes, yes, Bavaria's in the war. Uh, whatever. And Genoa's in the war. Perfect. Hey, you leave my guys alone. Can you do that for me? On the boat you go. Actually, he might have some ships. How many ships do you have, Ceylon? He has three ships. He has a heavy ship? That could be dangerous. Alright, um... Eh. Oh, he wants to party. I see that. I see that. Kick some butthole. Oh, and he's going to dump some troops on my face. Interesting. I think what we'll do then is we'll dump our troops on his face and we'll let him do whatever the fuck he wants in Sardinia. Works for me. Ninth of May. Alright, well we'll go this way then. And you can go this way. I don't care. Whatever. Just make sure we get to that fight. Uh, and, yeah. 
We're going to have to send some ships over to Ceylon or else we're not going to be able to uh, defeat his navy. Hmm. Three caravels? That's probably enough. Yeah, I'll take three caravels. That's probably fine. Uh, why don't you go dock up in the Maldives for me? And I'll put these guys in the Maldives as well. And once you're all grouped up, we'll use that as our little attack fleet for Ceylon. That's probably all we're going to need. It's good tech up. But there's no real rush. Alright, so they made it to Sardinia. Congratulations. And you guys are about to engage these motherfuckers. Turn in see on the 10th. Yeah. Let's party. How's that working out for you? Hmm? Large ships, galleys. Oh, we're fucking slaughtering them. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. And we're going to go siege his capital. Yay. I think I lost... Yeah, I lost two galleys. Oh, well, whatever. I don't really value the galleys anyway. They're useful, but they're not, you know, super, super amazing. So let's go back to patrolling Genoa. And you guys can come up here. Excellent. Wait, what? There you go. I clicked on the wrong ship, I think. Oh, shit. Nicaragua was damaged. Oh, I lost 200 pop there. Ouch. Ouch. Where's my... Uh... Trade ships. Trade ships. Attack fleet. Okay. And transports. Okay, so instead of going to the New World, we're doing this. But I also want to go to the New World. I don't want to just stop what we're doing. Uh, let's start getting relations up with... Auvern? Okay, let's get Auvern up, because two years we can annex him. Do that. Who else can we annex soon? Normandy's going to be a few years out. Ooh. Provence. We can do him right away, right? Yeah, a couple years. Okay, get relations up with Provence. And get relations up with Naples. Naples is going to take a little bit of time, but that's okay. Alright, hopefully we can siege this down faster than they can. We have a bonus because uh, we have a general. Hold on. That's fine. Uh, his general has one siege. We have... Oh, I thought we had a general. Oh, shit. I put the general over here, didn't I? Fuck my life. My general's over here. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck me. Now yeah, I'll just keep him here. Whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> it won't matter that much. As long as we siege him down and annex him, it'll be fine. My vassals are having no trouble wiping France off the map. I really wish my vassals would let uh, Provence siege Dauphine, because Provence has a core here, but it looks like they don't seem to give a crap about who sieges what. It'd be great if you could control your vassals, but you can't. You really can't. Oh well, steal this guy. Burgundy sieging this province does nothing for us. Oh well. Just means we're going to be throwing Diplo points down the drain. I guess we could check for a better statesman. No, it's the only statesman available is a level 1. If it was level 3, I'd go for it. Hmm. Kind of weird that Venice and Switzerland are uh, king kingdoms. Alright, good, good, good. Uh, that's sort of blocking Norway. Not entirely blocking Norway, but sort of. Uh, I wonder where he's going now. Now that he has this 
province with a port on the Pacific. He can colonize literally anywhere along the coast over here. I would not be surprised. Is he coming back over here? No. I would not be surprised if he colonized down here, but it looks like he's not. Where are you colonizing, Norway? Very interesting. Uh, I am curious where he is. I don't see him. Canada, maybe? No. Over here? No. Well, where are you, Norway? I... I don't see him anywhere. And we should steal this French colony while we're here. Do we have room for another colony? Sort of. We have the money. Yeah, I mean, if, as long as we have the money for it, it's fine. Let's steal the colonist from... Minas Garius? Well, we already did. Where's our goddamn colonist? There's one in Demek. There's one in Kaka. Uh, and the other one's in Mos Mosquito. No, that's probably fine, really. Her. We need to finish both of these. We just do. I need more colonists. Three is not enough. Three is not enough colonists. Uh, I guess what we'll do is we'll ship these... As soon as we're done with Genoa, we'll, we'll annex them and ship these guys to the New World. I need these guys to protect these two colonies so I can pull the colonists out and uh, go steal this colony from France. I don't want to take it without having a colonist there. You know? France is apparently losing a war to Lorraine as well. Very amusing. Alright, our troops have arrived in the Maldives. Is that all of our ships? Yes, all five ships. Good. Group up. Back on the boat. Uh, can I please have the man from Palermo? Yes. Nothing personal, Ceylon, but uh, 2,000 Europeans should rip you a new one. You know? I'm guessing. got a 0-1 a general. I've got a 4-4 four, four general. Make it happen. This really is stretching our abilities here, but I want to see if it's possible. Two soldiers taking on... They want to keep them? That's fine. Two soldiers taking on 3,000 motherfuckers here with a negative 2 penalty for uh, getting off of a boat. Our morale. 5.4 morale versus 3.1. Yeah, I think we have this. Yeah. Nice. And they insta-squish. Love it. Alright, good. Well, that went better than expected. And we're almost done in Corsica as well. Should be right about on time for when our uh, messenger comes back, our diplomat. Hey, we converted Leinster! So the religious map looks very good up here, except for Meath, which we can't do for a while because of religious zeal, uh, and Yorkshire. But I think we can do that right now. Yes, we can. Great. But that does mean we can pull these troops out of here. Uh, we're not going to have any revolt risk in Ireland. Well, no, there is a little bit. Uh, why is there revolt risk here? Why? Nationalism? When will nationalism go away? Hmm. I don't know. There's no nationalism in Munster, but there is nationalism in Ulster. Not sure why. I don't know. Hopefully we won't get a revolt, though. And yeah, like an idiot, 
like an idiot, Burgundy sieged Dauphine. So it goes to me instead of to my vassal who has a core on it already. And that's just silly. That is just downright silly. Oh well. Alright, come on. Yes, the Ottomans broke their alliance with Timur. It's fantastic. That's what I like to see. Oh, we can see a whole lot more of the map as well. Because uh, I need this province, Hormoz. It's not their capital? Good. Yeah, I need that province. And I need this province. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. I like that you did that, Ottomans. I appreciate your, uh, I don't know, working with me rather than against me. It's nice. Alright, come on, finish the siege. No, nope, that's not finishing the siege, that's called failing. Stop failing, goddammit. Come on now. No, nope, that's another fail. Alright, Atacapa has finished. There is still revolt risk here, partially because of the religion, and partially because of the culture. How long will it take before... Uh, Yorkshire converts. 1601. Seven years to convert that. That's a long ass time. I think we'll stick with it though. Because when our colonial nation forms over here, colonial Mexico, uh, they should be able to convert all this shit for us. We shouldn't have to do everything ourselves. Right? I really don't want to do everything myself. <laughs> it's kind of the point of having vassals and shit. Oh, who's this? Denmark has sieged Normandy. That's fine. Whatever. I'm just going to give it to Normandy anyway. Alright, there goes Corsica. So, goodbye Genoa. Goodbye Genoa. Dun 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 dun. There goes that navy he used to have. Um, please get on the boat. Thank you. Austria entered a coalition against us. Whatever. Coalition from the Pope, Utrecht. I get a feeling there's going to be a coalition war coming on. What do you guys think? That's what it feels like. Alright, let me take you guys to the New World. Perfect. Coalition, whatever. Embargo, whatever. It just doesn't matter. How's Denmark doing? Oh, he loves the shit out of it. Denmark thinks we just are the second coming of Jesus. That's what he feels. The Pope, though, he's, uh, he's getting pretty close to excommunicating us, so let's make sure that that's not possible. Wait a minute. I'm the Curia controller. I'm the only one who can excommunicate. Ah, whatever. We'll get relations up with the Pope anyway. It just doesn't matter. Yeah, if, if Vijayanagar had taken Ceylon, he would have been able to form Hindustan, but he didn't take Ceylon, so, well, oh well. You're lost, VJ. Vijayanagar. If that is your real name. Ah, we can see beyond Lipan now. Nice. Very nice. Aragon converted the culture of Nice to Catalan. Look at that. Crazy, crazy Aragon. That means my vassal's not coring it right now. Shoot. And Netherlands just annexed Friesland. Look at that. And I bet he's going to go after Utrecht next. Would not be surprised. Okay, our truce is up with England. That's great. We should go get some more claims on England. Yes, yes, embargo, whatever. Ooh, Italian engineer. What do we get? 40 military power. Yeah, sure. 200 bucks? I got 200 bucks. I got a lot of 200 bucks. Ah, oh, yeah, we need to rebuild our march, don't we? All right, where should we put our march? Hmm. Maybe here in Italy. We won't get as much benefit out of it, but, uh, yeah, Italy. Do it, do it, <laughs> Brescia. Mm. 
So where are the fuck are our transports? We're almost there? No? Transports? There you are. Uh, we're gonna have to drop some troops back here in Demerara, but, we'll, but we need to make sure we have the colonies protected first. We've already had two uprisings. Another one would kill the colony, so let's make sure that doesn't happen. Oh shit, we're at 999 points. Well, I guess it's time to tech up then. Or we could go for one of our ideas. Yeah, get me the idea. Because now we also get global tariffs plus 20%. Ain't that nice. 20% more tariffs. Lovely. It's actually very strong. Oh shit, another uprising? God damn it, my troops are almost there. Oh wow. And we discovered all of Asia. Holy shit. Hello, Asia. What's up? Look at Russia over here, just like a badass. Oh, get out of there, Poland. Get the fuck out of there, Poland. Son of a bitch. Yeah, we gotta get in on the fucking Timurids. We just gotta. Come on, ships, hurry up. Bohemia is the emperor again. Wow. It keeps going back and forth between Austria and Bohemia. Nobody can keep it. It's like hot potato. Oh, they want a replacement. You got it. Oh, finally. We finally arrived. Okay. Uh, we're going to split in half. I'm going to take... I don't know, one soldier on the boat. I'm gonna go steal this colony. Oh shit, now it's about to die. The colony's about to disappear. Shoot. Oh, and there's Norway. So he's colonizing directly south. He's going down towards the Inca. I can't allow that. We're gonna have to cut him off by getting uh, Caqueta, Quito, and Guayaquil. If we can get those three, we can cut him off. And he wants to colonize it here, that's fine. Shit. So that was uh, not cool. That colony's going to disappear. There's, just don't, there's no point. Don't bother. The colony's going to disappear. Oh well. No point trying to save it. Alright, well, who else is in this war? Just Bavaria. Yeah, but I haven't even seen a Bavarian soldier, so I don't know what's up with that. Paris is about to fall. Very nice. And Provence can't seem to kill his rebels. So let's see if we can help him. There we go. Hello, Ceylon. Uh, can I please have... Yeah, come back from the Pope. Alright, we'll take care of these rebels for you. Because I really want him to finish this core. He needs to finish this so I can sell him two more provinces. You know? It's important. Alright, Ceylon. Say your prayers. Cost me zero diplomatic points. Are you sure about that? Zero points? Let's find out. Indeed, it cost me zero points. Very nice. Core it. Next mission. Get into China. Hmm. Get a foothold on the Spice Island trade. Straight to Johor. Portugal is the strongest trade power in the area. Straits of Johor. Right here. Really? Get into China. That's probably an easier one. At least one province on the Chinese coast. What counts as the Chinese coast? Let's see. Region. Chinese coast. 
Can I click on the Chinese coast? There we go. Okay, Chinese coast includes uh, everything from Hainan all the way up to uh, Liaodong. All right, but it does not include Taiwan. Okay. So something in that region. I'm not opposed to that because then we could release Joe and Sean. Oh no, Sean is disappearing. Sean is disappearing. Oh fucking! Sorry. Oh no, no, no. He's only disappearing from the Manchu culture province. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. But I think we'll hold off for a better mission. I mean, it's not a bad mission, but eh, you know, no rush. All right, we're at 62 percent, and it's not going to tick up to 100 until someone takes Sungo, which is kind of silly, but that's the way it is. And I'm not sure two soldiers is enough to handle whatever kind of revolts we're going to get. So let's bring some troops up from Demic. And uh, let's go back exploring again. We haven't been out exploring in a while. Uh, yeah, come back down here. Finish up finish up uh, New Zealand. And then why don't we head across the International Date Line? Because it's a mysterious place. And just go discover all this shit. Uh, and then come back and dock up in Australia. Good man. Can someone please go to Sungo? Please, because I there's no way I can get access there. Well, that's not true. Switzerland might give me access. Nope. Yeah, there's no way I can get access up here. Minorities flock to Minas Gerias. Minas Gerias changes to Reformed. Oh, shit. God damn it. Nobody wants Reformed, but at least I don't have to convert it. Shentopia can convert it. And yeah, France just lost their colony in Demerara. The, the, the population shrinks down to zero. Eventually. It's just normal. It's normal! Normal! And yeah, England is continuing down the coast of uh, Maine. That's fine. We'll go get that from him through war. Don't worry about it. Don't you worry your little head. Now, when can we start annexing Auvergne? December of this year. All right, well, can someone please get some access over here? Oh, he's already giving access. He's giving access to all of my vassals. Well, use it. I can't get access there. Can you guys please use these guys? They all have access. Please use that. And get in there. No? Fuck's sake, man. Stubborn sons of bitches. Alright, on the boat. Off you go. Where you stop? Only I know. I don't know why my vassals are not walking through to France. They can, they're just not doing it. It's very silly. Oh, gain 25 ducats. Thank you very much, game. That's a game changer right there, man. 25 ducats. I don't know what I would do without 25 ducats. Even Auvergne has access. Auvergne, this guy with seven troops right here, even he has access through Austria. But he's not hes not doing it. Just go over there. Please? No? Not gonna do, not gonna do it? <laughs> Stubborn little bastards. You want a replacement. You got it. Well, our diplomat came back. Let's at least start looking at peace offers. Uh, let's take these two. 
And it's only 4% war score. Uh, what else? I want Navara. I want armor. And I want you to start giving shit back. That goes to Provence. That goes to Normandy. Oh, that's 105 war score. Shit. It's the same problem we had last time. It's 105 war score. Okay, how about if I don't take Navara? 94. Well, we could do that. We could definitely do that. But we need to max out the war score to make that peace deal. Unfortunately. <sighs> Fucking vassals. Okay, you know what, Switzerland? We need relations up so we can get access because our vassals are just idiotic. They're beyond retarded. They won't do it. They refuse to do it. And without that province, we're never going to get a 100 war score. Alright, I think we're fine with Auvergne. We'll wait till January, I guess. I think we're fine with Auvergne. You know what? You're hurting. This guy's hurting. Uh, come back and dock up. Alright, January, here we go. Come on home. You're done with Auvergne. Swiss. What do I need for access? We're almost there, really. Austria declare one in the Netherlands. Good, yeah, go shrink them down. Take as much as you need, Austria. Leave them with one province. Let me peacefully vassalize them, please. Oh, come on. Can I give you a gift? There we go. Okay, come on back. It's kind of silly that my vassals... My vassals took the time to negotiate military access with Austria. All of my vassals have military access through Austria. All of them. But not a single one marched any fucking troops through Austria to siege the last French province. They're just that dumb. So siege that down. But you know what? We're out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time where we'll peace out Francy Pants. Uh, we'll take his holdings here in South America. And we'll take uh, some land for our vassals. But I'll see you next time. Have a good day.